guys what's up welcome back to my channel so today is a most requested video i had got a lot of comments regarding this video so it was a must do for me yes i'm going to be sharing my notes after all so i'm going to be sharing chemistry notes chapter 1 matter and our surroundings and i have two notes basically uh, first one is this revision notes which i make by myself when i'm studying the chapter and the other one is for my school purposes in this i write all the assignment questions running notes ppt content and all that stuff so i will be linking the revision notes only in the description box below i won't be linking this notes for this chapter in the description box because i did not write much in this notes it was fully videos in our class but for other chapters when i'm sharing i'll surely be linking both the notes too in this video i will be giving you a brief glimpse and an overview of the chapter so watch this video completely and go check the pdf out too so let's see the overview now so here i have started the heading and i have highlighted it in black then i have written the definition and i have also made a flow chart of classification of matter here i have also written about what matter is made up of and that is continued here in characteristics of particles of matter so here i have written the number 4 that means there are four points that i have to remember when i am writing in the exam if you see in my notes you will see a lot of arrows uh, keywords and all the type of thing because this is a way of understanding and retaining information which i use you can also use the type of thing i usually don't write in paras because it's in bulk i use points for a systematic manner of learning here i have used mind maps for the properties of solids liquids and gases and here i've also written about density's formula because it's not elaborated in our textbook but it's mentioned so it's better if i just write the formula when i'm have to write, remember it in the exams so moving on we have diffusion this is the standard definition of diffusion but this is not the definition given in our textbook so in case you want to write the textbook definition you can also write that but this is the definition they gave in our school and these are some questions that might come from diffusion then here is change of state in matter so these the points which i've written uh, below that these are actually hidden contents in the textbook you need to thoroughly read the textbook to understand these these might come in mcq format then we have effect of change of temperature how solids are converted to liquids here i used a different color to uh, elaborate it to highlight it here in this post it note i have written all the si units in this lesson and how kelvin is converted to celsius and how celsius is converted to kelvin melting points definition and this question here is actually given in the textbook it is actually the concept a concept which we must understand in the form of question answers so then we have latent heat of fusion boiling again i have written all in points then latent heat of vaporization then this is a small flowchart type of thing about how solids liquids gases are converted by temperature then comes change because of pressure here i have again i have done a note and another small flowchart then here is about evaporation so here in factors affecting evaporation i haven't written the reason for each factor because i thought it was self explanatory but if you want you can write that too this is the last page of my revision notes here i have some important questions regarding evaporation cooling actually there are other important questions that might come from this chapter 2 which i wanted to include it in this notes but then uh, i didn't include it here i have already written it in my other notes if you want me to send that too i can share you that in future videos so this is the way i make my notes each note serves its own purpose so this note i made for my revision purpose and i made it when i'm studying so each person has a different way of writing your notes so find your method make effective notes and let's rock this here